What's going on everybody, this is Dilmer and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at the Pico 4 Ultra and I have reviewed this device, well, the previous version of this device before in the channel. And honestly, I really enjoy using that. Pretty lightweight a pretty good device for mixed reality. There are things that are, you know, not as good as this one, obviously, because of how much power was packed into this device. There is, in this one, 12 gigs of RAM, so that is an improvement over the previous iteration. You also have 256 gigs on this version, Wi-Fi 7, which is going to, you know, it's going to have improvements as far as latency. It's not gonna have as much latency as the previous version. This one has some technology called MLO and that's supposed to help you with, you know, streaming. So I'm really excited to check it out. So you guys can see here the box in different angles and then some of the games that are going to be shipping with this device. So this was announced, I think it's going to be releasing pretty soon in Europe. I know it released or it was announced in Asia. Those are some things that I need to check out. But you might ask, Dilmer, is this available in the US? And unfortunately, it's not available in the US because of a lot of different things with, you know, with TikTok and ByteDance. But I was able to order my previous one by basically just going to the Doing It Sneaky by ordering through Amazon and then shipping that from the UK and then shipping that back to the US. So you might be able to do that. Let's go ahead and get this open. Open it on this side as well. There we go. Put my tool there. And I love those sounds. <laughs> okay, so here is the, the Pico. So the box is pretty nice though. So it's a normal white box. And yeah, it's, it's not as heavy either. So if we go ahead and rotate it here and then let's get it open. So there's also a opening area here, an indicator to get it open. So let's go ahead and lift it. Pretty easy to open. And there we go, a little soft box on the outside and a pretty nice box here with the Pico logo right there. And yeah, so if you take this off, you can basically put this aside. It looks like this is just a cover. And then we have here the, the real box. It smells really good though, like when you get a new product. So there we go, we got that. We got some things inside the box. So I'm gonna put this right here. Okay, so here is the actual Pico 4 Ultra. And if we look at the controllers, oh wow, that feels really nice. And I'll take a shot of the previous version, heavier than the previous version, but they do feel really nice. So a couple of trigger buttons here, the index buttons. These ones seem to be a lot brighter than the previous version, but it does feel premium though. You have the AA batteries on the on the very back, so this is really normal, right? That you can you can pull this out here, and and then now we can start using the controllers. If we were to open it here, this is something that is pretty nice. So I really like the way that they did the batteries, because with other devices you have to put the batteries in and push them in. This one has like a little compartment that you can use for the batteries. Well, you have to use for the batteries because this device is how it was built, but it comes with batteries already out of the box. So that is pretty nice. Then you just have to push it in. And I can kind of feel, as soon as I put it in, the light came on. And then power button in here, there's probably a menu, and then you have your joystick button in here. So yeah, I really like the, the actual controllers. And then let's put them in here. This table is not too big, so I'll try my best to, to show you everything in this table. So anyway, so I'm gonna put the headset. So I'll just show you here the headset of how it looks like. And then we'll look at the headset in just a minute. I'll leave this for last, but looks like there is a, a little compartment here. And let's see what we have in this one, right? Let's get it out and nice and open. And you have here the user guide. So if you guys wanna learn more about it, anything about the device is going to be here. And then you have your safety and warranty guide for ultra series. So anyways, you can look at 
the warranty, which is really important as well. And then if you're like me and you wanna just look at something quickly, then you can look at the quick guide. And then if you wanna turn it on, you just have to hit that button. And then also the accessories that we're going to be expecting, such as the glasses spacer, which we're gonna be looking at. So here is the glasses spacer that we just looked at. So you could also use it if you need to wear glasses and have additional space. This one is going to be for the controllers. So if you wanna put those in the controllers, they're going to basically go into this area right here. And there's two of them. So if you wanna use those, specifically if you're playing games and you're moving your hands quite a bit, I recommend putting those on so you don't, you know, they don't fly away. And then this one right here, I don't really know what it is. Let's find out. Let's get it open. Okay, there we go. So this is probably just your USB-C cable and yeah, just like the materials on these controllers and on the headset, this feels really rigid, so really high quality. And then now we have here the device that I wanted to show you. So this has a Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2, and that processor is really, really fast. So there are improvements on CPU, and there's also huge improvements on GPU. I think it was about 250 percent improvement. Also improvements on hand tracking due to the new on-device AI, as well as big improvements to GPU power savings of 50% from the previous gen. Here we can just get this guy open. So it looks like it has a uh, taping here. So pretty nice. So we can get it open to protect basically the front. And we can get that one out. There we go. It has a lot of reflection and it reminds me of the Quest Pro when it comes to when it comes to that. Okay, so let's get this one open as well. And as I'm looking at it though, there are a lot of cameras and you might you might be thinking about that, right? So there are four different cameras. So you can see a camera here, you can see another camera here, and then one here and one here. So it's four different cameras and they're going to be environment tracking cameras. So that means that it's going to allow the device to have a more precise understanding of the environment and therefore provide a more realistic mixed reality experience. We also need depth, right? When it comes to mixed reality, the reason for depth is because we need to know the distance between, you know, something that the device is seeing that is closer to us on an image, the device needs to know how far it is from the camera. And then that allows you to do things like occlusion. It allows you to do things that will make the experience a lot more realistic. The Pico 4 Ultra also includes one TOF camera, which helps with depth, as I mentioned. And then we also have two 32 megapixel pass-through cameras that are going to be here. So we have one here in this area and also another one here. So this is pretty, pretty packed with a lot of different cameras. And, and that makes sense because this device is specifically for mixed reality. Then looks like we have some kind of an opening here. Maybe that's just a fan just to cool the device down when we're using it a lot. And then here we have another sticker that we can just get out. And this is gonna be the power button. And then if we rotate the device, we also have another fan. So there's gonna be one at the top and then one at the bottom. Then we have a nice strap in here and pretty high quality materials. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. And then I believe these right here are going to be either the speakers and that you can see through this area. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there are two different areas in here. They do look like a speakers. And then your USB-C connection is going to, is going to be in this area. So I'll just take that sticker out as well. So pretty beautiful device. Then if you want to make it you know, larger, you can do that. Also the device is really light. So really, really light. But yeah, it's crazy. And then there's some, you know, comfort pad on the back here that makes it nice. Also another one here on the very front to protect your, you know, this, this area of your face. And then if we get this open here, let's go ahead and see what we have in this area. Let's see if I can tilt it a little bit so you guys can see this area. So we have the two lenses and if you look at the specs on the website, it's gonna tell you 4K. So what that means is gonna be 4K for the combination, a little bit more than 4K. So this is gonna be very similar to the high-end devices where we have a lot more resolution. And there is also supposed to be a lot less distortion when you're looking at objects. And that's gonna be something that we're gonna be testing. So now we can go ahead and test the operating system. You can see here that we have a mountain and a beautiful lake. 
Also, we can go into full mixed reality and the quality of the cameras look pretty good even when I get my hands closer to the lenses, there's really not much distortion. I can also move the windows around. In this case, we are using the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 and it is really smooth, to be honest. I can also go back into VR and there's going to be a boundary because the operating system wants to make sure that we're not going beyond our safe area. Also for multitasking experiences though, we can basically use the handles in here to move the windows around, we can resize them. So you have the power of multitasking with this headset and also because we have a 2160 by 2160, everything looks really, really nice. To plunge into the oceans. Every life is a symphony, showcasing the boundless creativity of nature. Can you feel that? We can toggle all the windows on and off, except the one that we have active. We can resize it. We can go back and show everything. So it also allows you to minimize, to move windows around. Also a cool feature that I really like is the ability to basically go into what it's called like a full theater mode. I don't know if they call it that way, but it looks that way. I'm gonna show you here by searching for YouTube and then basically pulling up one of my videos that we're going to be able to test with the full theater mode. So when we go to this mode, you can see that now we have the video playing and it just looks like we are in a real movie theater with all the different features from YouTube available within the Pico player. And here we have it. We have the two, also pretty nice box here, packaging. And it's gonna tell you here everything that we need to know, right? Like if we look at this area, it'll tell us where we need to secure it. So it's gonna be basically on this side of the ankle, right above your foot. And then also there's going to be different indicators in here that it tells you not to cover these areas because those are going to be the, you know, the tracker. So we don't want any of your clothing to be covering those when you're using them. And then when you open this up here, we have, looks like two different compartments. And we have the trackers, which are these ones right here. So it looks like we have a connection in here. I believe that is to basically, you know, either charge them. Yeah, that's gonna be to charge them, but that's going to be a USB-C as well. So we have one here, I'll put it right here, and then this other one. So this is pretty interesting technology, guys. Like, it's crazy that we have controllers doing tons of different, you know, tracking. We have the device doing a lot of different scene understanding tracking, and then now we have trackings to be able to track our body. So anyways, I just thought that was pretty fascinating. And then it looks like there's a button here to power it on. And then I would imagine that's going to be the light indicator. And then a nice logo in this area. And then also here, just some information about serial number and so on and what not to do. So we have two trackers there. And then if I open these up, see what we have. It comes with the user guide, just like uh, just like it did for the actual headset. That's going to be one of the manuals, also the safe and warranty guide, which we also had for the other device. And then here are going to be the straps that you're going to be using to basically put on your ankles. So let's go ahead and see what's in here. So we can get this one open. It's pretty well secure. And then pretty nice. It feels, it matches the overall, you know, look and feel of both devices. And then we also looks like we have a button in here. So this button is going to be to eject them. I believe like if I were to connect it here, it's going to sit in place. There we go. And then as soon as I push this, it's going to come off and then I can pull it out. There we go. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. Then you strap it onto your ankles. Then this area right here, this strap looks, it feels good quality. So I'm assuming it's gonna last for a long time. And then you have a ring in here that we can use to basically size it based on the thickness of our ankle. And then I can just do that to 
to basically wear it, right? That's everything for today, guys. If you can like and subscribe, that's going to allow me to you know, make many more videos because there's a lot of technology packing here that I know many of you has asked me for, such as object tracking capabilities, which I know the Snapdragon car supports. So I'm really curious to find out how that works. So on the next video, we're gonna be diving into more about the OS. And then I believe on the video after that, we'll start looking at how we can use this with Unity, how we can use this with some of the development tools that they are providing. So that's everything for today, guys. Thank you very much. And then tracker, coping, viewing. Oh, this is a different language. That's why I couldn't read it. <laughs>